Let's speak to Christopher Hitchens, fellow author and friend uh, Richard Dawkins. Richard Dawkins, good morning. Your thoughts this morning, good your, morning. your memories, Richard, of uh, Christopher Hitchens. Well, a great voice is silenced. We just heard it. Uh, a wonderful orator, a great thinker, a great intellect, uh, a great atheist. Um, my memories, well, I was never a terribly close friend of his. I got to know him through doing the Four Horsemen uh, DVD um, on the Four Horsemen of Atheism. Um, I then uh, just recently presented to him an award um, of the um, Atheist Alliance International. And the day before that, uh, and I, uh, he gave an extremely moving speech on that occasion. And the day before that, I interviewed him for the New Statesman. Um, and I guess that's my most, that's my most abiding memory is, is that long interview uh, which is in, in this week's New Statesman under the heading Never Be Afraid of Stridency. Mm. Um, he was a, a wonderful mentor in a way. He, he, was a, he encouraged me um, and uh, I shall miss him terribly and so will everybody who values the life of the intellect, of, of rationality, of, of reason. I, I, he, there are some wonderful clips on YouTube of him taking on people in the Bible Belt and so forth. But he was not just for, we have to say, he was not just, his work was not just enjoyed by uh, by, by atheists. I know many people of belief who had a trem tremendous admiration for his um, his strident liberalism and his championing of those who were oppressed. Yes, indeed. He hated tyranny of all kinds. He was against Stalin, he was against Mao, he was against Kim Il-sung, and he was against God. He hated tyrants of all kinds, whether real or imaginary. Mm. And a great believer in pluralism and in racial equality and racial justice and freedom of speech as well. He was a, a great champion of freedom of speech. He, he would defend, in the famous Voltaire sense, to the death, the right of those to op oppose him. Uh, he certainly did, yes. Mm. So, w of the things he wrote, if you were to point people to, to one thing, to one book, because he was an iconoclast. He wrote the, that book, didn't he, about Mother Teresa of Calcutta and said some very disobliging things about her. But would you point people coming to Christopher Hitchens for the first time to one piece of work? Would you recommend anything? Uh, he certainly despised Mother Teresa, um, and uh, he said that um, uh, she was... Um, uh, that she was much more interested in the, in the immortal souls of her wretched patients than in, than in helping them. Um, so, yes, that, that's an important book, but God is Not Great is surely the, mo the more important book and the one that I would recommend people to go to first. Um, as you will, will realize, it's a, it's a, a takeoff on the um, Islamic God is Great. Um, he was a great foe of militant Islam. Um, but the book is more than that. The book is a foe of gods of all kinds. And God he saw as a kind of supernatural tyrant, a supernatural dictator. And you heard a bit of that in the clip that you just played of his speech. He was great company, though, was he? Huge company. He was wonderfully witty, immensely erudite, uh, seemed to have read absolutely everything he could quote by the yard. Um, he was a devastating wit, and his... Um, opponents in debate had reason to regret taking him on. Uh, Martin Amis said that he would, I think, something like triumph even against Cicero and Demosthenes. <laughs> uh, thank you very much indeed, Richard Dawkins. Thank you very much. A very sad day.